Welcome to part four of our mini beast drawing sessions. Now, I did see quite a few different types of mini beasts, but the one I didn't find is one of my favorite mini beasts of all time. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, let me give you some hints. It has beautiful wings. It's an insect and has different colors sometimes and they flutter about. When they're young, they're actually caterpillars. Can anyone guess what that is? Yeah, a butterfly. I didn't see one butterfly, but I was really desperate to draw one. So here's your butterfly drawing in watercolor video. As always, I'm gonna find the shapes of my butterfly. For the head, it looks like a little triangle. So I'm gonna draw a little triangle there. Then for the thorax, the middle, it looks like another triangle that's just below it. And for the abdomen, it's like an oval. Hmm, what other shapes do we see? Oh, well, we got the antenna, which we got a line and a circle at the top. For the butterfly wings, it looks like a triangle. So I'll draw a triangle. And the bottom wing kind of looks like, actually kind of looks like a teardrop. So those are the shapes of our butterfly we'll use. Now that I know my shapes of my butterfly, now I'm going to draw them using my pencil. It may not look like a butterfly now, but later I'll go back over my sketch and I will change the lines and any kind of detail to help fine tune my sketch. While I was going back over my sketch, I realized that the butterfly had more shapes inside of its wings. So I went back and I looked for them. Looks like I found a four-sided shape, which is called a quadrilateral. It's not quite a square and it's not quite a rectangle. And I also found some triangles. Inside the shapes of the wings, I created even more detail by adding the lines that you would see in a butterfly's wings. I rounded off edges to make the butterfly's pattern look a little bit more realistic. And there you have it, the sketch is complete. For this sketch, I decided to use the watercolor palette. Now for my favorite part, mixing the colors. So I started to mix a couple colors, a nice orange color and also a yellowy orangey color. The wings, have a bit of a mixture of those two colors so I'm going to try to emulate that on my sketch. The little piece of paper I'm using is to kind of test out the colors to see if I like them. Now I'm going to paint the inside color of the wings. I'm doing the light colors first because it'll be easier for me to layer the black over the top once I'm happy with the color. I'm taking my time, oh this is a sped up video of course, but I actually took my time with this. I let some of the wings dry at times so that I can go back over to see if I really liked the color. I really tried to match what I saw in the picture. Once my painting dried, I went back over it again with the orange and yellow colors, just so I can add a little bit more detail. 
Once I was happy with my wing color, I decided to mix up my dark color for the wings. Now, when I really looked closely at my picture, I realized that it wasn't exactly black. It was more like a brownie black. There was a bit of purple in there, so I had to really try to match the color by mixing a bunch of different colors together to get what I liked. And then I tested it out on my test paper just to make sure I really liked it. I also mixed up a darker black, more black color, um, because for the outsides of the wings, uh, they seem to be a bit more darker. So I mixed up those two colors so that I was ready to go to finish off my painting. Using a small paintbrush, I used it to help me with the fine details of the butterfly's wings. It was really tricky and I had to go very slow with a nice steady hand. If I made a mistake, all I would do is go back over it with water and to, or use a napkin to just dab up the mistake. Using watercolors can be really simple as long as you are patient. Once I was happy with all my dark colors and it was completely dry, I realized that I needed to add little hairs to the thorax of the monarch butterfly's body. I used a gray and a purple and I did little tiny strokes to show that it actually has a bit of hair on its thorax. Now for the fun part adding the white dots to the butterfly's wings. I used a white acrylic paint and a small brush to help make the dots. I felt the acrylic paint would show up a lot better than if I tried to use a white watercolor paint. There you have it, my watercolor butterfly. Oh, I really do like it. I'm really quite proud of myself for that. What I like about it most is I love the inside of the wing so much. I love how I was able to blend the oranges and the yellows together. That's why I really like watercolor paints is because you can kind of blend them and they make a really interesting pattern when it dries. If I had to change something, an improvement, the next time I did it, I would probably do my little, I think I went a little bit too fast doing the white dots because I was really excited to finish the picture but what I should have done was take my time so I think I could have made my white dots just a little better but the important thing is I did it I'm very proud of it and yeah there you go can you do a watercolor butterfly can you do any kind of mini beast with watercolor how about you give it a shot remember anyone can be an artist you just got to give it a shot.